Okay, everybody, Master Wong here. Today is another training day again, so you can get a little bit more uh, into it. So the whole idea today is some of you asking about the uh, situation inside the pub or in a very close area. Got so many uh, optical around because it's not an open space. Last time we're talking about it's outside, open space. Now you're talking about inside. So the inside, you're going to use a different kind of movement and technique. Okay. Now some of you watching through this, I love to learn and stuff like that. Make sure you click the subscribe button so I can able to update you and give you all the lessons you need to learn. So click on here and make sure you hit the bell so that way I can send you the notification when a new video come up. Okay. So let's get on with it so you know what we're talking about. Now, as you know, each thing is different. Okay. So if you can imagine you are in a closed area. So you've got no room here to back it off. You can't be a distance. You can't have the light. So what do you do? The most important thing you need to realize is keep an eye on the person. Okay. What is it? Try not to stand like this. If he push you, you fall down because they've got uh, optical, especially in the bar or inside somewhere close. They have so many things around like table, like shop object. Okay. It's dangerous. So principle, no different in our training on the Wing Chun side, principle, no different hands up, hands up in a such a way that you can go in free area, long, short and close. All this movement will using in different scenario each scenario you use differently this one here you see him hand is up i'll give you the idea is he already arm he already want to using this hand or this hand try to attack you punch you or hook you or he might go into grab you tackle you down keep your hand into here want to have your hand into him and keep a distance like he said okay no problem okay because he's bigger remember that keep your hand and don't try to force him Get nicely on it. And then you see this hand move, you control. This hand move, you control. Okay? So if you this hand move and this hand move, you're moving in already. So you're really prepared. Second thing you need to learn to understand in this technique is need to be aware of what's going on. The first thing you want to do if you go in, you control. And because it's in a close range, you use it's the closest weapon you got. That's your knee. Okay, so straight away to the nut. And second close weapon you got is a head. Boom, head butt him. Okay, because if face down, that will be head butt into him. That will do the job. And then you move. So dealing with a big person is got to control, learn, and knee. And sooner than that, that head got to be head coming down. Now head butt him. Boom. When we go into the uh, movement that head butt here, when you knee him, he had it already here. So you just walk in with it, okay, like this. And that we're dealing with that movement. Very basic and simple. Keep things simple on this. Dealing with a big person is not the same as dealing with a smaller person because they are bigger. So you've got to avoid so many things. Your voice he hand, you've got a voice he grabbing you, he you got a voice a lot of stuff. So you have to set your weapon. In our training program, we are talking about a lot into get the weapon ready. What is your weapon? This is your weapon. Okay. This is your weapon. Okay. So now you're in this monitor movement. Keep an eye on this hand because this hand will whack straight to your face. You got no choice but move in. You can't move out. Okay. Move in. First thing to do because you can't use anything. You're stuck. So when you're stuck here, knee. The first thing is contact the knee. Soon the contact on the knee and the head have to come in because you don't know that hand. Okay. So when you don't know, don't let the hand go. Head back him one, knee him one. Okay. And then now he start to move, move, and then go quickly. Get away because you want to go home safe. Okay. Like pit master said, you need to get home safe. If you're not big problem. And that's all you need to know to understand. When you understand that, principle of it is the same so the most important thing for you to learn is aware 
the situation. You need to keep an eye on everything because you got to remember you're in a closed place like the pub, like outside uh, in a very confined space with too many people. So it's just not this person here. You've got people around you. You've got everything. If you too concentrate on it, then everything we're attacking, you don't know how to defend. Big problem. Control the line. Keep the hand on the movement. If like last time I talked to you about, if the hand push straight away, if you feel implement uh, the dangerous attack, okay? Feel problem, move in, okay? That's the basic thing. Move in, okay? That's the basic thing. Soon you move in, you attack, okay? Soon you attack, you attack. Drop the hand, then you see. Hit button, him, and that's how you're gonna apply some of the movement in quickly and learn to apply them. The head, they can't not see him, and it's not nothing it move, okay? Soon you hear, they can't see your neck either. Never, you can't see it coming in, okay? It's too quick, bam, here, head comes up, boom, out, okay? So this is very important to get yourself working on it. Into the program that we go through with you, the training, it's about you. You selecting the situation you're in, and I apply you with the movement, okay? So you can able to learn to adapt, because I can teach you thousands of techniques, like I, like all this. But in the situation you're in, you're not able to use them. And also, the most important thing, you're not comfortable for certain movement. So if you're comfortable with the hand, we're going to improve your hand. If you come up with a leg, we're going to use the leg a bit more. More information on that, go to our website, masterwong.tv, and check it out onto the, uh, go through the task first, the, the challenge, and then you can see the ideas and become easier for you, okay? So that's the basic stuff here. Now, another thing I want sort to of learn, if you've got any question on it and you're not sure, comment below here asking me so I can comment. Because too many of you commenting, I need to, uh, if you want to, personally leave me to comment, you need to go to our website, become easier, masterwong.tv website, and send me the message personally. So, the basic of it, okay, hand, basic principle, hand, control, knee, okay, and then head back. Basic, keep it simple. If you start to complicate stuff, it's a nightmare. Line of end, keep the hand, control the end, knee, okay, student so stand up, help come in here, and then Put the elbow in for a good measure and then move quickly. Get away from the pub, okay? If you're not, your friend is here. In two seconds, you should be able to hand, knee, head, boom, and move, okay? You don't spend time waiting around there. If you start to waste around, then you're going to get big problem. So we're going to keep things simple and easy on this lesson for you. As you know, each of the week, I, uh, I go through a different thing with you. If you practice a lot of movement on the Wing Chun already on the hand job, you can apply them in. All this movement here to helping you to learn. And if you practice Tai Chi on the hand, it's easier. Because a lot of time, big person using Tai Chi, it will enhance the situation. Okay? We're helping a lot because you use the moving one object from one place to another. So Tai Chi is the beautiful movement to apply them in. All of this is through the training. I will go forward you individually because individual person is very different to learn each of the two. In self-defense, you don't need to do too many. You just need to do enough to use to be able to defend yourself. Okay? Anything else? Comment below here. Anything you want to ask me, asking me, and I will be here to answer all the questions you need. And if you sub haven't sub some of you haven't subscribed to me yet, make sure to subscribe to me before your enemy do. Otherwise, your enemy will know how to deal with a bigger person than you. It's going to be a nightmare for you. Master Wong here. I'll see you next week. Out.